said that if I liked the T193 enough that I was going to buy the other drive in the series that looked interesting. That was the T183. Um, and that's what we have here in front of us. Uh, apparently they'll make a flash drive into anything these days. So just for a quick refresher, the T193 was a 10 centimeter ruler and a protractor and a magnifying glass and a arc drawing tool all in one device. And now we have the T183, which is listed on the package here as being waterproof, dustproof, shockproof. And none of the fancy features are actually listed, although they, they show them. They show it being used as a straight edge. It's marked out in centimeter increments, but it's not actually marked to what they are the way the 193 was. So we get a one, two, three, a four centimeter ruler, a knife that looks like it's more just a box cutter, and then a bottle opener. And this nice unibody design, lifetime warranty, just like the other one. Um, same capacity garbage on the back. I don't know who's using 4 megs per song or 5 megapixel photos anymore. Or, or 720p HD video that those capacity estimates are relevant at all. Um, on the website, we list a 90 meg per second read and 35 meg per second write, so no change there from the other drive. Honestly, I expect this to perform exactly the same. Uh, looking at the designs here, we've got almost identical construction that makes me think that they probably have the same controllers and NAND, and then just slightly different castings for the bodies. So with that all said, let's pop it open and start getting a look at it. I'm not super concerned about the drawing features, although I think I have some graph paper here that I can grab. It looks like the knife blade is made by taking this loop, which would be for a lanyard normally, and then beveling it further. So they reduced the size of the loop, and then they chamfered it on top of that. It's not particularly sharp to the touch, but it... Uh, appears to cut through the packaging of the drive itself with a little bit of force, but not too terrible. Uh, let's get that packaging out of the way. Let's grab uh, some cardboard from a light that I got recently and just So, I'd say it's safe to say that this wouldn't be my first choice for cutting up a box or anything like that. Um, there's no visible wear on it to speak of, so that's good. But uh, it's certainly be better than using, like, a key. So that's a nice bonus. Let's check the straight edge out really quick. We've got actually the same piece of paper that I used for the other one. And I'm just going to line the straight edge up on one of these printed lines and make sure that it is in fact straight. That's good. Um, we'd see some deviance from the line on the page there if this wasn't actually a straight line. So that's good. And I guess that just leaves the bottle opener, which of course can only be tested with... Red! 
red stripe. It's beer. Hooray, beer. And from the design, how do they show it being used in the picture? So they show it being used this way. All right. It opened up the red stripe. Which isn't bad. I actually haven't had red stripe before. I bought it just so I could use that clip and I hope that counts as fair use. <laughs> So for all the extra functions so far, before we get into any performance testing of it, just like we would a regular flash drive, the knife part um, isn't sharp enough to cut yourself, and I think that's by design so that you don't slip and cut yourself taking it out of a computer. The bottle opener worked fit fantastically. Um, the straight edge is a, a straight edge... It's been designed for that. I mean, you could argue that you could do the same thing with, like, just my generic Micro Center red flash drive here. Uh, but the body is actually curved slightly on the corners, whereas this has a very sharp bevel right there that prevents, like, the, the tip of your pencil or pen from rolling under the drive while you're using it. As a measuring implement, I don't really know how often I need to measure things that are four centimeters or less, and I know that before I go to measure them. But just like every other Swiss Army knife or pocket knife that includes a, a ruler or a scale, um, it's a, a nice bonus. As far as price is concerned, I ordered this on Amazon. And I paid $17.89 for it, which isn't terrible. I think we did a little bit of price estimating when we looked at the T193 and found that between $15 or $20 bucks typically gets you a flash drive from a large vendor, which Team certainly is. They make quite a bit of stuff. So with all of that out of the way... All right, so we'll start off with Chip Genius, just like last time. And... Not recognized. Doesn't like it if you try and launch it twice, for the record. And it just doesn't know. It doesn't know what the controller is in these things. Um, hopefully there's an updated version of it soon, but, uh, as it stands, it really can't tell me a whole ton about what's going on in these flash drives. So next up is Crystal Disk Mark. Just like last time, we're still using Crystal Disk Mark 5 so that our results are comparable. And part of that is just most of our old flash drives were benchmarked on Crystal Disk Mark V. Um, it's not that I can't run 6 or 7. I might be up to 7. Uh, the later versions of Crystal Disk Mark on a flash drive, it's that they periodically make tweaks to how it generates the data and information between major revisions, so 5 and 6, isn't directly comparable. Whereas information between minor revisions, unless they specifically say so on the website, which they don't typically, uh, is comparable. So I can compare 5.4 to 5.4.5 to 5.5 results because the engine that actually drives the data generation and the results hasn't changed. What has been updated is here's a bug that we found that made it not work with Windows build whatever, or here's a text bug that we had to fix, here's a typo we found, that kind of small stuff. All right, and the results are finalized 
now, and they are so similar that if you plugged a T193 and a 183 in next to each other and told me to identify them by the benchmarks, I wouldn't be able to tell you which one's which. And taking a look at the design on the drives further, I think we're probably working with something similar to the Mushkin Atom, which we reviewed a, a long time ago. There'll be a link to that in the description. And what they've done is that they've just tacked on the extra body. I don't think the flash drive itself is actually this big. Not that it really needs to be, although it would be nice to see them use the aluminum body for some heat dissipation. Uh, I think we actually have a drive that's this size inside a much larger shell than it needs to have, which isn't inherently bad. Uh, you see the same type of thing with consumer SSDs where you'll have a 2.5 inch shell and then a printed circuit board that takes up maybe a quarter of the space because they just don't need it anymore with how small things have gotten. So Crystal Disk Benchmark... Yeah, I, I really didn't mean to start it. Crystal Disk Mark results are identical to what we've seen before. Let's go ahead and fire up Addo. I expect to see exactly the same results here. Q depth 10, one gig size. And this is going on drive F. The one thing I will comment is that even if it is a subsized drive like that, which I definitely think these are, especially seeing the way that the bottle opener cuts into it, they are using all this metal for additional heat dissipation. I can feel that it warmed up. Not enough that I want to go get a thermal probe and check how hot it is. Who am I kidding? Where is... Oh. Alright, we're not going to log this to the PC because that would mean getting tape out and then getting out a whole nother computer. But I do at least want to spot check how hot these are getting under load. So all right so just as a refresher this is our MS8040 Studio temp is roughly 73 degrees ambient. Probe on the flash drive. Really? Did I plug that in backwards? I 100% did. Okay. Eighty six, eighty eight, ninety, ninety one. And it looks like we're seeing well, this might be a little different. I feel like there was more of a gradual ramp on the last one. All right, we're seeing a skin temp of ninety four. Five degrees at this point Fahrenheit and that is a massive 35 Celsius 97 95 97 99 so we'll just see how high we get, and I'm going to actually push this as close as I can to where I think the controller would be, which is right about there. Huh. Ninety-three. Ninety-three. 
93. All right, well, I guess we've actually plateaued. I'll double check it just before it's done. But operating temps of just under 100 degrees Fahrenheit, not inherently, you know, comfortable to touch, but it's not going to burn you either. Um, your hot water in your house is probably set to 120. If not slightly higher. Okay, I think I misunderstood one of the pictures on the package of this thing and we'll test it in just a second. All right, so we're running 64 meg test, test now, put this right here, survey says 93, Ninety-three. Okay. Not terrible. Um, Temperature-wise or performance-wise. Uh, same thing as what I said with the 193. This isn't inherently the fastest flash drive I've ever seen or used. But it's not terrible either. I mean, the read speeds are good. Um, I've used the T193 for moving things like the OBS recordings off my laptop to my desktop and uh, it's actually pretty quick. I don't really notice that it seems any slower than any other drive I have save for some of the SSD based ones or like the Mushkin Impact but uh, I don't always have those free for stuff like this. Sometimes they've got big things in them already. So one feature that I missed, and let's go ahead and stop OBS because we're done with that now. I saw pictures of magnets on the package and assumed, like almost every other flash drive, that it was telling me that it's magnet safe. But what it was actually telling me is that the drive itself is magnetic. So, although I don't have a filing cabinet in here, I have a rather large binder clip. You could stick this to the side of something, well, and it's not going to say the most secure, but it's got some stick, no worse than like a, a magnet you'd use to hold a document to a fridge or something. So that's a, an interesting Note there, you could, you know, if you've got a desk with any kind of metal or magnetic features or like I can stick it to my, my watch strap there, you could stick this to something. So that's neat. So at $17, you get a bottle opener. You get a fairly effective box cutter, although I wouldn't really use it for much beyond that. You don't really want to use it anywhere you'd use, say, an X-Acto knife. You get a nice little straight edge that could come in handy from time to time. Um, I don't know how useful a four centimeter scale is going to be. That's going to be up to what type of stuff you're doing. If you work with electronics all the day, I could see that, you know, quickly telling you uh, how spaced out some components and whatnot are. Although, if the scale is really the thing that you're after, I'd say the 193 is a better fit. Even with that gap there, you can easily adjust for that. So, I do like the bottle opener. It's a nice touch. Um, I do wish it had come with some kind of loop or lanyard for hanging on keys. 
since that's clearly what the opening edge is also designed to do. I don't, <laughs> I don't really just want to magnet it to my keys and hope that it stays there. Uh, since we just saw that, although the magnet and it works, it's not going to stop most motion loads. It'll hold it to a static object. Um, so if you've got a, a laptop with a magnetic lid of some sort, Apparently, the, let's say I can feel it sticks to something there, but not enough to actually stay on the lid of my ThinkPad. That's, that's the ThinkPad, not it. Um, the magnet's a nice touch. So overall, it's a fun little drive. I'm happy enough with it for $17. Bucks. Um, I can honestly say I will probably use the box cutter and bottle opener more than I will the protractor. Because I get packages in for review and having a drive here that I can zip through them and then plug into my laptop to pull like the OBS recording that's on here off to my actual edit station um, is a huge plus. So overall fairly competent drive on the drive side. Some nice added bonuses. Um, whether or not they're worth it to you over any other drive, you could save a few bucks and get one without those. I do like the body's design. It's got a nice aluminum design. I don't feel like it's going to hurt itself anytime soon. Bouncing it off my studio wall there. There's There's paint from the studio wall that came off the wall that's not even the drive. So, it's a fairly rugged design. Not bad. Um, there'll be a link to it in the description below. There'll also be a link to, I mentioned, the uh, Mushkin Atom as well. I want to take a moment to thank our patrons for helping make content like this possible. If you are interested in helping support Pocketables, there will be a link to our Patreon page in the description below. I also want to thank Alextrix for providing our opening and closing themes. There will be a link to his channel in the description as well as a card in the video. Certainly check him out and subscribe if you like his music. He's great to work with if you need custom music as well. Um, and I believe all of his music is officially like free open source so you can Use it and just make sure to credit him if you do, uh, like we do. <laughs> Beyond that, if you have any questions, if there's something we didn't cover, I know, you know, throwing it off my studio wall is probably not the most scientific ruggedness test, but there's other drives, like these Micro Center drives, I've seen split open from impacts far less than that. So it's at least valid data, if not slightly subjective still. If there's something we didn't cover, let us know in the comments below and we'll follow up on it. If there's something that, you know, a specific drive that I touched on or mentioned that you'd like to see us test, let us know and we'll either get in contact with the manufacturer or if it's like these, we may just order it and test it ourselves. That said, thank you for watching.